Willkommen. My name is Sean Huggins. I'm an American living in Germany and on this channel. I'm looking to learn all about life in Germany and Europe in general through watching silly videos and stuff on the internet with you guys. So let's hop straight into it. Today should be an interesting one. We have a super quick history of Germany by Mr. History. I love learning about history, specifically ancient history, ancient civilizations, stuff like that. And I think that this guy will probably touch on that kind of stuff and bring me up to speed with a broad stroke of how Germany came to be leading up to today. And that is very exciting. So let's waste no time and find out what really happened in Germany to get us to where we are today. Hello everyone and welcome to hey, Mr. Mr. History. Mr. History! Woohoo! <laughs> This is Europe, and here's Germany. Now let's go, shall we? Long ago, oh. before there was a Deutschland, there was just the land, which back then Deutsch. had even more Whoa. trees on it. And into the misty forests stepped tribes of mammoth hunters and oh. musicians. Yes, the what? oldest musical instruments in the world are from Germany. Flutes what? carved from ivory and swan bones, found wow. in Baden-Württemberg. What did they Whoa, play? that's where what I live! Music? Skipping through the centuries, we spy the influence of Indo-European arrivals, as various cultures of craftsmen, farmers, shepherds, and warriors appear. Whoa. The Germanic people seem to have originated as such in Scandinavia, and in the wake of the Nordic Bronze Age, migrated south, and sooner or later ended up running into the Romans. Ooh. Wow, we are already off to a quick start. This is crazy. I love this kind of ancient history, ancient civilizations. I'm curious to see what happens when they meet the great Roman Empire and see how they deal with it or how Rome deals with it. Let's find out. Who thought the Germans nothing but primitive savages, but they did fear them. While generals oh. like Julius Caesar and Germanicus slaughtered their fair share of Odin worshippers, one of Rome's biggest military catastrophes occurred in AD 9, when the Germans under Arminius okay. decimated three Roman legions in the Battle of Teutobauk Forest. Whoa. And from that point, Rome's expansion beyond the Rhine was pretty much halted and they never conquered all Germania. Damn, they stopped the Roman Empire. Wow. So years passed, and as Rome slowly weakened, and as the Huns stormed in from the east, Germanic tribes like the Goths began overrunning the empire, and it fell at last in uh -huh. 476. The tumultuous time of migration, invasion, and city sacking steadily subsided, and some semblance of order returned to Western Europe with the rise of the Franks. The Whoa. Franks were a cluster of Germanic clans whose power ballooned upon being united by Clovis around the year 500, and his espousal okay. of Catholic Christianity foreshadowed the gradual... Wow, dude, look at that picture. He looks like such a mighty warrior. Holy crap. Acceptance of that faith by all the Germanic peoples. Frankish might attained its peak with Charlemagne, whose oh. dominions covered much of modern day Germany. Wasn't Charlemagne a really ruthless ruler? Really violent? Or am I thinking of a different guy? The empire of Charlemagne was split among his grandsons, with the German bit going to Louis the German. I mean, who else? <laughs> Louis the German. Dude, Louis the German, best name in history. <laughs> So descriptive. And it was from this slice that the Holy Roman Empire was born in earnest in 962 with Otto the Great, who stopped Hungarian invaders and married his way into Italy and was crowned oh. emperor by the Pope. The reason this inflated German state was called the Holy Roman Empire was because it was deemed defender of Italy and the Roman Catholic Church. And this Holy Roman Empire Whoa. would exist what? for many centuries, but not as some unified singular entity, but rather as an intricate complex Damn, of look at states, that. principalities, dukedoms, counties, bishoprics, margraviates, lordships and estates. And yes, there were... Wow, that's a lot of different things. I am technically a lord, by the way. I own land in Scotland, which means that I'm a lord. So <laughs> you can call me Lord Huggy. <laughs> yes, indeed were power struggles and quarrels. The empire was strengthened and further enriched under Friedrich I, whom the Italians called Barbarossa, meaning Redbeard, Whoa. but the Germans called him Rotbart, meaning Redbeard. Rotbart. Meanwhile, the Germans were pushing <laughs> east across the river Elbe to the lands inhabited by pagan Slavs called the Wends. German settlers moved in and the Slavic culture there slowly disintegrated. German <laughs> dominance of commerce in the Baltic came about with the Hanseatic League, a confederation of northern cities with mutual mercantile Whoa. mindsets, such as Lübeck and Hamburg. With increasing oh. wealth came culture as it typically does and you had Minnesängers like Walter von der Vogelweide singing love songs and the epic poem the Nibelungenlied about the dragon slaying hero Siegfried and his Whoa. formidable wife Kriemhild. Now to the east in this spot here dwelt a pagan populace called the Old Prussians and the emperor Whoa, gave the go scary. ahead to conquer it. A task undertaken in the Prussian crusade led by the German Teutonic Knights who gobbled up Prussian lands Whoa. and then went further ultimately carving out a big Baltic bit of territory and thus making a German state outside of Germany Prussia which became rich and 
strong. The 1300s was wow. a bitter time of famine and black death, but amid the recovery in the ensuing century, a number of world-altering things took place in German lands. What? Politically, there was the Austrian Habsburg family taking the wheel of the Holy Roman Frederick Empire in 1452, third. under which dynasty the empire grew immensely powerful. But before that, a goldsmith wow. called Johannes Gutenberg invented a Gutenberg. printing press that changed the world. Now books could be produced faster and cheaper than The printing press invented by a German. Whoa. Ever before. Ideas could spread rapidly and to more people, and they did. In 1517, Pope Leo X needed money to fund his glorious rebuilding of St. Peter's Basilica and promoted a campaign of selling indulgences. Basically telling people if they gave money, their loved ones would suffer less in purgatory and get to heaven quicker. A fellow called Johann Smart. Ketzel was particularly zealous in his efforts on behalf of the Pope and attracted the attention of a hot-headed priest and professor of theology at Wittenberg Whoa. called Martin Luther. Luther was disgusted by the whole thing and publicly denounced it, and his arguments were mass-printed and spread, and his doctrinal uh -huh. disputes with Rome soon became political. So that's basically the first viral tweet. Interesting. You see, many of the princes and so on in German lands did not like being limited by the church, and they saw in Luther's call for reformation a chance at getting more complete power in their regions and more money. The Emperor Charles V ruled a gigantic realm Whoa. and did not relish the prospect of division, and Luther was summoned but refused to renounce his beliefs. And so we have the beginning of the split of the Western Church and the inception of Protestantism. Prussia okay. became the first state to officially adopt Protestantism and thus shuffle off the authority of the Pope. Other states followed, and the Holy Roman Empire was denominationally divided. There was unease on both sides for a long time, but after a Catholic started pushing Protestants about in Bohemia, the Protestants fought back and things escalated into what uh -oh. would become the Thirty Years' War. Well. Religion started it, but politics kept it going. France wanted to weaken Habsburg's strength and thus supporting Protestant powers even though it was Catholic. This was okay. among the most devastating wars in history, with millions of people killed. While the what? Holy millions of people killed in this war? Holy crap! I think I need to do a whole video on the Thirty Year War. That's insane. Roman Empire weakened, Jeez. a new power arose in Prussia, which That's became crazy. a kingdom in 1701 and grew stronger, as seen with Frederick the Great, who further reformed the state and army into Europe's most efficient wow. and went out and conquered Silesia from Austria, which led to war and Prussia emerged triumphant. Frederick smashing the Austrians and French at Wasma, wow. despite being heavily outnumbered. Prussia's ascent coincided with a time of immense German cultural accomplishment, especially in music, and pretty much all the greatest composers are German. Uh -huh. Bach, Handel, Beethoven, Schumann, Brahms, Wagner, Strauss. For a long time, French Whoa. culture had dominated Europe, but the Germans started searching deeper into their own souls to express themselves, and what they found okay. were the seeds of the Romantic movement. Intense emotion, angst, storm, and stress. Europe was swept up in this artistic outburst, which was in large part a rage against encroaching modernity. But it was futile. Uh -huh. The world was growing less romantic and more mechanical. Don't worry, the Germans would prove to be good at that too. Now the Holy <laughs> Roman Empire was dismantled nice. in 1806 by Napoleon, and the following decades would see the Industrial Revolution hammer its way into the German lands. Damn. With the fast altering world of factories and steam trains and muddled political, economic, societal shifting alongside continental famine, the German states okay. were set ablaze in 1848 by revolution, seeking reform Whoa. and the union of German states. When the rebellions were crushed, many unhappy Germans migrated to the United States, and today over 40 million Americans Whoa. are of Ge over 40 million Americans in the U.S. are from German ancestry. I actually have German ancestry, a small percentage of my total ancestry, but I have some German ancestry, which is pretty cool. I'm from Pennsylvania, which is like right below here, and one of the hot spots, not as hot as this spot over here, but it's one of these darker orange spots here. And yeah, I've said this a million times, but where I come from in America, Pennsylvania, reminds me a lot of Germany in the way that it looks like the landscape and everything and the weather and all that stuff looks and feels a lot like Germany. And I feel like that might be why a lot of Germans ended up settling there over the years. But I don't know. That's just a theory. Let's continue. German descent. Meanwhile, Prussia was getting strong again and setting itself up as the Prussia. state to take charge of the German world. Prussia's Otto von Bismarck determined to make wow. this Wow, dude, that's the coolest helmet ever. Imagine how fast you could run with that thing on. <laughs> There would be no wind resistance. Dude, that's awesome. Reality. He was a clever, ambitious man who, through quick wars and shrewd diplomacy, bolstered Prussia's standing. And after defeating France in 1871, he succeeded in unifying the German Whoa. states under Prussian leadership. And the German Empire was born. And for the first time, there was a single nation Whoa, on the, the map German that you Empire. could point to and say, that's Germany. Germany became, after wow. the US, the world's foremost industrial power. But the European chessboard grew more tense. And as nations strengthened, they began to fear each other. Bismarck knew France wanted revenge and did not 
want them allying with Austria, while Russia was expanding in the east and Britannia ruled the waves. In 1882, Germany, Austria, and Italy entered into an alliance, promising to help okay. each other if attacked. Kaiser Wilhelm II wanted Germany to be a colonial power and oversaw the snatching up of various bits of Africa. Germany also uh -huh. became the world's center of science. Breakthroughs in physics, chemistry, and biology coincided with the Germans inventing the automobile, motorbike, diesel engine, x-rays, and gummy bears. X-rays? in 1914, nice. the heir to the Austrian throne was shot dead oh, by no. a Serb, setting off a diplomatic crisis, and it all spiraled into World War I. And while the Germans oh, put up a very tough fight, beating Russia on the Eastern Front, the Western Front saw Germany up against France, Britain, Belgium, and later the United States, which proved too much. An armistice was signed, a socialist revolution forced the Kaiser to abdicate, and many Germans simply refused to believe they had lost, thinking they'd been betrayed. Government uh -huh. debt added to demanded reparations equaled economic crisis. Enter Adolf Hitler, an Austrian who had fought in the Great War. Hitler believed Germany had been stabbed in the back and blamed the communists and the Jews. Hitler quickly became the leader okay. of the National Socialist German Workers' Party. His immense speaking skills employed in passionate speeches, winning him a popularity that surged after the Great Depression, when the fun and games of the Weimar era expired and hard times surfaced. Hitler became Chancellor in 1933, and after some murderous maneuverings, managed uh -huh. to win himself dictatorial powers. Germany's wow. economy improved, autobahns were built, and in 1938, wow. Austria joined Germany. But Hitler wanted more land, and got it, and was in the process of getting more in Poland that World War II began, the biggest and most destructive in history. It was Germany, Italy, and what? Japan against the world. Germany proving especially strong with its frightfully effective Wehrmacht, occupying most of Europe. And in the midst Whoa. of the war, the hated Jews were rounded up and put in camps, where many were executed or died of disease along with other undesirables, like Poles and Roma, in what is called the Holocaust. Millions of deaths and endless oh sorrow. But Hitler's God. doom was sealed when he made the same mistake Napoleon made. He invaded Russia. Furious lost battles like Stalingrad and Kursk, the unrelenting British and the arrival of the Americans, meant the Third Reich was no more. The war saw Europe torn to pieces, and while the movies give the idea that it was a basic battle of good versus evil, it just wasn't that simple. There wasn't much Tell heroism in what the Soviet soldiers did to women and girls in East Germany, and there oh wasn't God. much bravery in the British-American bombing of Dresden and its civilians. After the war, okay. Germany ended up split in two, the East influenced by the Soviet Union and the West by the West, which under <laughs> Konrad <laughs> Adenauer lost no time in recovering and rebuilding and reflourishing. Oh, wow. As communism declined, the Berlin Wall went down and Germany was united again and took up a leading role in the European Union, in uh -huh, policy uh -huh. and treaty and so on. Germany today is one of the top richest countries in the world, with a yeah. very high human development index rank, a very high standard of living, and a knack for technological and industrial innovation. Germany has given most plentifully in literature, science, philosophy, sport, and music. Not bad for a country whose fairy tales for children are more violent than most horror films. What awaits <laughs> Germany in True. future days? Comment below. But for now, bye-bye! Wow. Oh my gosh. What a whirlwind of a video. I think that was the most concise and thorough history lesson on anything I've ever had in my life. That was like a freaking machine gun of just facts of just Oh my god, I could hardly keep up. That was insane. I feel like he did a really good job of covering a broad thousands of years of history and putting in a little bit of everything. Of course, you can't have the entire history of Germany in a 10 minute video, but man, touching on a lot of the biggest points in German history, I think he did a really good job. I learned so much from this video, particularly that I need to learn more about the 30 year war and I definitely need to keep learning about the ancient Germanic tribes and pre-Germanic tribes, pre-civilization, the ancient like no Nomad, hunter-gatherer, cavemen, all these kinds of people. I need to find out some more stuff about a lot of things, actually. But I'm curious, what do you guys think? Was this a good representation of the German history? Did he leave anything out that's noteworthy? Or would you change anything about the video? Let me know in the comments below. At any rate, though, that's all the time that I have for today. If you enjoyed, consider subscribing. We got new videos every single day. Check the links in the description for all of my other social media, including my vlog channel. Thank you guys so much for being here, and as always, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.